Welcome to Joanna C. Today again with Monique, we did her highlights the other day, we teach, I teach you how to do her color and today we're going to talk about bangs. Okay, so I did a little vision. Always remember, this is how I like to do the stuff. It's a lot of different ways. This is what I teach is my way. So I did a little triangle over here. It's all depending if you want to do full bangs or not too full. If you want very little hair in, on your face, you're going to take a small amount of hair. If you want to be thicker, you're going to take more hair, okay? So it's, that's what you have to think if you want to do thin or you want or you want to have full bangs, okay? So that's what you're going to do. You're going to make the little triangle and check how much volume in your bangs you want. We're going to start from longer bangs to shorter bangs so we can check different type of styles. Okay, let's see. We have this and we want just a little frame around her face. We always check first. If we're gonna put the hair on the side or you want long bangs on the side, always we have to check or ask our customer which side she wants so we can go to that area. Now, if the person want to have layers or long bangs and they always part on the middle, we're gonna do it with the part on the middle, okay? So, this is what she's gonna have her long layers around the face where it's gonna be like a long bangs. We're gonna take the middle part of the, the, the hair, right the one in the middle, and check how short she wants to have this one. This is gonna be the shorter layer on her face. Let's see if she wants to do it around her lips, okay? So you take the middle part, the middle hair, and you go to the lips. Okay, this little piece, what is in between, you're gonna part one side and you're gonna part the other one to the other side. Okay, so you take one of the side, pull the hair a little bit on the side and go from the short hair and you keep cutting. Remember, this is gonna be bangs, so we need to go short. It's not gonna get long layers. This is bangs, okay? So we go in and we go short. Evan, I need to go close. So let's see, we do this a little bit angle. We can always go shorter, we go slow. We check, we can go a little bit shorter right here, okay? Then we keep on this side, and then we do the same on the other side. We go for the shorter piece, all through the bottom. Okay? Go like this. We go like this. Always remember the hands to go to the side. You take the short, the longer piece, and the longer piece you was doing, and to be sure everything is the same length, and double go and go and go and double check to be sure everything go even. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see. Okay, this is what we do. We check our longer, the shorter, and you always when you blow that you can. Keep checking and be sure everything is totally even. Go see. Remember always our finger go to the, s the same direction where we want the hair to go. Okay, we go like this. Take the piece and we put our fingers to the same place. And we do the same here. We put our fingers in the same way how we want to have the, the layer. Okay, I'm shoulder here. And then we blow dry to see how they look, okay? This is one of the ways. So when you blow dry, you blow dry back, you're gonna have that with volume around the face. You can put it on the side, okay? But I'm gonna blow dry and I'm gonna show you this technique and then I'm gonna switch to another type of bangs so you can keep learning more about bangs. For the people who want to get volume around the face, you see, 
they give you volume, go from shorter to longer, and they give you a little bit something on your face. And most if important is they give you volume. If you need some volume, and you can leave it like this. And then, you, of course, you can play and keep the same, just a little bit on the side, and leave the other one in the other side. Let's see if you decide you like this side and how the, the banks look on this side. This is what we can do when it's dry. Keep a little bit on this side. Always remember to be sure where you're gonna part the hair. Because some people, they say, oh, I, I wanna part here, but then they decide like they want this to part over here. So what's gonna happen, this is gonna be too short. So you have to be sure where you're gonna part the hair so do, don't overcut the hair. Let's see, she likes to have her bangs in this area. And she wants to have this on this side and this on this side. Okay, but what happened? The, the hair in the front is too long and it covers her eyes and she wanna go tiny shorter. So what I do is I go slowly by slowly shorter from the front and in going angle. So the hair go in the same direction and we don't gonna have this too thick. It's gonna go thinner and soft on the face. Okay? So you go and cut a little bit shorter. I always like to go slowly. You can always go shorter after. And you keep going in the same direction how you like to have your hair. So you're gonna part on that side. This is how you do it. It's gonna help you to um, work easily with your hair when, when it's wet and you have to blow dry. It's gonna go by itself to that side because the way how we cut it. You keep going until you find the length you like, okay? Let's go deeper. And you keep doing the same. A little bit on the side. You can go in between to texturize a little bit of the volume on the ends. Okay? You blow dry, you check, you comb to be sure if it's the right amount. If you wanna go even shorter than this. Keep going in a corner until you find the length what you like. Now, because this hair was blow dry straight, go a little bit like this. But when you wash it and you blow dry, it's gonna get softer. So, like this, I give it an angle. This is the length how Monique likes her bangs. It's a little bit in the corner. We have a little bit shorter on this side, so it's not just in one side. We, she has a, the, a little bit of the shorter piece over here. And let's see, she decides this is not what she wants anymore. She wants to go shorter, okay? My third style on bangs. So we're gonna put everything on the brown again in the middle and we're gonna have this option let's see she wants just a little bit hair in front of her face not too much we take this we check the amount she wants let's see if this is the amount what she wants And she wants to have shorter in the middle, like right where is her eyebrows, okay? So we go, um, one, one, I should pour water, but I missed it. I'm gonna let her burn water. Ay, ay, ay. I add some water so it's easier to manipulate the bangs. So we go shorter in the middle. Okay, we did under the eyebrow because when it's dry, it's gonna jump. And then in the corner, we go a little bit longer. So she has a little bit angle over there. 
and the same in the other side. Okay. I'm gonna blow dry and then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with the other part of the, the bangs. Okay, and blow dry and then I show you. Okay, I blow dry the bangs. Remember, Monique is, uh, has a special hair, <laughs> a different quality of hair. It's not human. <laughs> so the so thing is, you know, it's the, the results are similar but not the same like working on, on real, real hair. Okay, so I take the part from the top where we did before. Look how nice, because you can keep this on the side and some of the hair keeper on the, or on the face. And you can add some more volume and another type of uh, bangs on your hair. So you have the, this on the side, you can go even a little bit shorter if you want, you can blow it back. So you have some hair uh, on your face and some another hair on the side like this this is very pretty more for thin hair who wants volume that's a good technique to get some volume and add some volume on top with layers long layers on the front and then some hair on top of your face this is another nice way to do your bangs Yes, we're going back to our first position, all the hair to the front, and now let's see, she wants all her bangs to be full on her face. So we're gonna take the top, we're gonna cut in the same place where she cut, when we cut in the beginning, so we have everything the same length. So I see the, the demarcation there, so I cut it. Okay, and then I go shorter on the side and the same on the other side. I'm gonna put some water again. Okay, I put all the hair down. Monique told me she wants to have everything in the same length, so that's what I did. I went sh everything shorter in the same length where we cut in the beginning and I cut all over in the same length. And she says she loves volume. So what I'm gonna show you now, you have to get some volume. You can take a little piece of the head of the bangs and you're gonna do kind of layers. You're gonna take one piece and you're gonna do layers. You're gonna go from the shoulder to the top and go like this, up, so you get layers. The same like you do on the hair, we do in the bangs. We separate the next place, we leave the shoulder, and we go and cut the top. Keep it like this. We're going to the next one. Do the same, the shoulder. We cut a little bit more on top. We go over here. We do the same. And this piece, do exactly the same. So you get volume, okay, in the banks. Look, and you don't have to have everything in one length, and you don't have to have everything full on the ends neither, okay? I hope you like it. Put your thumbs up, come, comment below, and have a good time. Love you guys.